Hello, I'm Stephen Goldberg of Optimus Performance. I'm here at the Profiles World Conference in Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas, and I have with me Eric Friedman. Hi, how are you? And he's the chairman and CEO of eSkills. Actually, it's eSkill. eSkill. No, no S at the no end. No S at the common end. mistake. Common mistake. So tell me a little bit about eSkill and what you do, what are the products you have? eSkill is an online hard skills testing platform okay. that can not only offer the client hundreds of standard tests mapped to a single subject or job title, it's also software that can build you a job-based test mm -hmm. for jobs that require multiple subjects. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you have a job that requires Microsoft Word knowledge, English language proficiency, and typing skills, mm -hmm. you can select those three things and a test length that you would need and hit generate test and our software will build you a relevant job-based test. You can pick a standard Excel test that will have questions ranging from beginner, intermediate, advanced and expert so that everyone will, have, will fall somewhere on that continuum. Mm -hmm. We have simulations mm -hmm. that will actually replicate the Excel interface in your browser mm -hmm. and have you do tasks just like you do in Excel and see if you pass or fail those. We have well over a thousand corporate clients. Many of them are as small as a, a school or a precinct mm -hmm. or as large as Zappos, two divisions of GE, wow. uh, Home Depot. Fantastic. Our specialty is predictive testing content that's mm -hmm. been written, reviewed, and validated by a panel of experts. Mm -hmm. So you, most of our clients want to trust that eSkill has test questions that will test someone's real life ability to perform on those subjects. Mm -hmm. You know, it's generally pretty common knowledge from anyone that's not any hiring that a majority of resumes either exaggerate or outright lie about proficiency with Excel, about experience with, you know, cash register systems, or all sorts of on-the-job tasks. That sometimes you need someone to be good day one on those jobs. So what eSkill can do is shoulder the burden of validating whether someone really has those skills mm -hmm. before you sink time into interviewing, bringing them in, doing background checks, giving them expensive uh, behavioral assessments. You still can help reduce that pool to a much higher, uh, higher chance of performing group of candidates. Mm. eSkill is a software as a service, so once you become an eSkill customer, uh, you select the tests you want to use or configure the tests you want to use, it's very easy. And then you wind up with a library of tests that are ready you know, to use for your jobs. Do they have to buy a license? How does this work? Well, companies starting out might do one month of unlimited testing, which can be as little as, I think, between about $400 or so. Or you can buy pay per test score, which lets you set up tests, and then every time you test a candidate, it deducts one test score. Mm -hmm. And buying 25 test scores for $625 is our starting point for that. Mm -hmm. But most companies that use us for hiring all year long might pay anywhere from $3,500 and up for a year of unlimited testing. Oh, I see. Is there anything else you'd like to add that uh, people should know about testing or skill testing or about your product that would be beneficial? Well, I think it's important that people realize that you know, testing should not, people shouldn't worry that it's offensive to the candidate to take right. a test. Uh, when talent is scarce and people are trying to hire the few bodies available, there can be an urge to, oh, no, no, I don't want any steps between me and the talent. So that's an obstacle that stops but I, people. Yeah. But I think testing should be treated as this is a company with standards and it's also a way of you know risk management has become a, a buzzword right. in, in industry and skills testing is a perfect example of how to lower corporate risk you're giving a very standard practice way of every candidate to step through for consideration so no one can say that if they were turned down and you have because you have qu quantitative data that they're turned down for reasons that may be illegal that's one good reason. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't often think about that angle of, of skills testing. Well, thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate you taking the time, and I look forward to uh, actually offering your test to my clients and seeing them benefit from oh, this. It's a privilege. Thank you. Okay.